Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is Disconnected. And that is oh, the way you could be feeling sometime in the next week, or maybe you already feel like that. And that is because a rare thing is happening in the heavens right now. And it is that there are four planets in cardinal signs, and that has been going on for months. However, tonight, all four of them are at the exact same degree, the 14th degree. And when we reduce numbers, we add their digits. So one plus four equals five. 14 is an even number, five is an uneven number. A 14 five is an indication of separation, particularly being separated from your loved ones, or you could be separated from uh, something that you love doing or somewhere that you love uh, living or going to. And so this idea of a separation can lead to a feeling of being disconnected. You could be a little disconnected from your past and you could be longing for the good old days. You could be disconnected from your future because although you may have a dream, perhaps it hasn't come true yet. So that can be a little discouraging. Or you could be separated from a loved one. Perhaps they're in one place and you're in another. Or you could be separated from what your real goals are in your career or in your life. In other words, you could be doing the same old thing and wondering when is it ever going to pay off or when are you going to do exactly what you want to do. So this feeling of being disconnected does come from the fact that Uranus is in Aries, the sign of new beginnings, but it's at 14 degrees and it is opposing Mars in Libra at 14 degrees. Mars and Uranus are malefic planets. They don't get along with each other ever, and particularly not when they're in a precise opposition to each other. So that can promote a feeling of being disconnected. And it can be that somebody wants to do things all their own way, and someone else says, wait a minute, upon review of the law, you're violating the law, you can't do that. Okay, so these, those two attitudes certainly can promote a feeling of being disconnected. And then Uranus and Mars are being squared by Jupiter in Cancer at 14 degrees, meaning that there can be some family members that feel disconnected. In other words, perhaps you have spent a long time living in one place, but you'd like to move back to where you came from. Well, that could uh, promote a feeling of separation or disconnecting, or maybe a family member is moving on, or maybe you just don't feel that you're with the uh, people that are your kind of people and you'd like to get back to that, or you'd like to go where they are. And also Pluto in Capricorn is squaring both Uranus and Mars in Libra. And Pluto is retrograde itself, just as Mars and Saturn are. And so Pluto can indicate people in management, in large corporations or government agencies that can feel disconnected because they can be trying to do their job and not finding a lot of cooperation. In other words, there are other people with different opinions and no one is cooperating right now. And so they can feel disconnected from their purpose or their goals. Or it can be that people are wanting to enforce policies that don't have anything to do with our regular everyday lives and there isn't any input from anybody else so it's sort of like a dictatorship type of deal and nobody's going for that either. And so this feeling of being disconnected can be uh, in evidence in your life in many different ways right now. And that is something that we are all dealing with one thing that we truly are disconnected from is our past. And the reason why is that time marches on and you know, you can't go back to yesterday. You could try, but you yourself have changed or other people have changed. And that is why the only place we can all go is forward into our future. And we can be feeling disconnected from that because there can be so much uncertainty associated with our future. So that is why this is can be a somewhat discouraging phase at the moment. But next week, there is a wonderful solar eclipse in Taurus that is very well aspected. And so don't worry, we'll soon be on our way to new things. 
The nice thing about right now, though, is that there are uh, five planets in the water signs, and they are all trining each other. What could that mean? Well, actually, the water signs rule our feelings and our emotions. They rule real estate. They rule feelings of charity and helping others. Or they can also rule our dreams and trying to make them come true. And they can rule uh, the financing that is needed for that. And so today, that Jupiter in Cancer, which is at 14 degrees, is actually being tried beautifully by Saturn in Scorpio. And even though it's retrograde, it is still trining that Jupiter, meaning that there can be staunch uh, resources, maybe not as many financial resources as before, but they can still be in place. And uh, they can be used to help family members in ways that um, maybe not deal with money, but could deal with assets or some sort of help that uh, denotes uh, food or a roof over somebody's head, and that can be appreciated right now. Those two planets are trining three others, and it is that Venus and the Moon and Neptune are all in Pisces today, and in fact, Neptune, the ruler of the sign, and the Moon are closely conjuncting each other, and that simply means that a lot of people can have their minds on trying to make their dreams come true, or if you're feeling disconnected, you could be dreaming about better things right now, and you could be getting a lot of sympathetic support with that as well. So for people who are victims of something, this is a time when charity can really help them out, which is good. So I think the victim wins right now. And also there is another trine going on, which is building and will have more influence on our lives uh, in the coming weeks. And it is that there is a grand trine in Earth signs now because the Sun and Mercury in Taurus are trining Pluto in Capricorn, meaning that there can be some sort of common sense, easy, simple solution. Perhaps it's so simple people had laughed at it before, but now it may be reviewed and somebody in a position of authority represented by Pluto in Capricorn can and give the go-ahead for some money to be spent on a simple idea that really could work. And why would they be doing that now when they could have done it before? It's because everything else has failed. And so now they're down to doing simple things that are affordable. And that's a good idea because those could really be successful. So you have that to look forward to. All right, what does it mean to an Aries? Well, Aries, this is simply a time when I think you can be under pressure because Uranus in your sign is at 14 degrees and Jupiter in Cancer is exactly squaring it and Pluto in Capricorn is also exactly squaring it, meaning that there can be some sort of controversy about a partnership or a contract or it can simply be that management does not agree with the things that you want to do and that could be making you feel disconnected and alienated in one way or another. And Mars is opposing that Uranus, meaning that there is a legal issue or a partnership issue or a contract issue that may not go your way, Aries. In fact, it, upon review, you may have to redo something or you may be held accountable now for something that people overlooked in the past and you sort of got away with it. Well, now they're not willing to do that. And so you may have to sort of pay up right now or you may choose to sever some ties and really disconnect from your past. But don't worry, Uranus is the planet of the future and since it's in your sign, you could welcome your freedom and want to go in a new direction and you could do that easily now. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is simply a time when I think that in the background of your life, there can be a lot going on because that Uranus in Aries is being so sorely aspected right now that there is the possibility that you could be caught by surprise, Taurus, and Uranus does rule surprise. And the surprise could have something to do with something that you had been successful at in the past, but that you are being held accountable for right now. And I think it would have to do with the fact that there are some people whose moods have changed. Remember now the victim wins, not the clever greedy people. And it doesn't mean that you're greedy, Taurus, but it does mean that you may have um, been able to plan things rather successfully, only the concentration has changed now and it 
things are concentrated much more on how people feel, on humane feelings and situations. And so that is where scarce financial resources can be allocated right now. And you may be surprised that there's another bill due or the taxes are getting a little higher, or you could suddenly meet the love of your life, Taurus, because Uranus is a planet that rules platonic or soul satisfying love. So that's possible too. And that would come right out of nowhere, or you could get some sudden surprising news connected to that. So all of that you can be looking forward to, but the best thing is the solar eclipse will be in your sun sign next week, and Cap, uh, Pluto in Capricorn is actually trining your sun now. So you can be thinking about making more money or allocating your, money, your financial resources in a different way. And if you do have extra bills you have to pay right now, Taurus, I think you can put your hands on some retirement funds that you have been holding for a long time. You can cash something in right now, Taurus, and you, it's still your money. I mean, if you need it now, why don't you go ahead and do that? It's not the end of the world. You can still pay your retirement fund back at a later time, but maybe now is a time when you need to really uh, make sure that the decks are clear and you don't have any bills to pay going forward because after all that solar eclipse is going to denote a new beginning for you. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is simply a time when I think that you are going to be helped along by somebody who is going to stand up for doing things the right way. And that is because Mars in Libra is trining your sun and upon review of actions of others, uh, somebody can be deciding that, oops, those actions weren't all quite legal or they weren't all quite right. And there could be a sudden opening somewhere. After all, Uranus and Aries does sextile your sun. And you might be the person that's asked to sort of step into a new role right now. It might be a temporary role, but it might work into something permanent as well. And it would be something that you'd love doing, Gemini. So that is all to the good. And you would have some extra help with that as well. So that's wonderful. The thing that it could be a little bit uh, distracting for you right now and make you feel as if you're disconnected is that Venus and uh, the Moon and Neptune in Pisces are all squaring your Sun, which means that people haven't been quite honest with you and some people who are pretending to be victims, you know, sort of playing the poor me role, they are the ones that can be getting all the sympathy now instead of you. So you could feel a little disconnected from uh, feelings that really should be of sympathy that should be coming your way. Instead, you'll just have to embrace something new and really go for it, Gemini, because I think you're going to be successful at it. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a time when, yes, you can be pressured right now, and I would not overreact to anything. It won't do you any good, Cancer, because Mars in Libra is squaring your sign precise, or squaring Jupiter in your sign precisely, which means there could be a con canceled contract or a breakup of some sort. And if it isn't happening now, somebody could be planning it anyway, and it could happen in the future. And also Pluto in Capricorn is opposing your sun sign, which means there are gonna be some rules and regulations that have to do with making more money, but it may not include you. Uh, cancer because everybody's got to watch the budget and I think financial resources some of them will be allocated to money making simple ideas right now and you may not be in charge of that and for that reason you, you could possibly be overlooked for something like that and then also Uranus in Aries is squaring your sun and that means somebody may want to make a break for their freedom quite suddenly and that might catch you by surprise. So stick with the people that you really love and care about while there is still a grand trine in the water signs. And because Venus, Neptune, and the moon, your own ruler, are trining your sun, you could make a dream come true right now, Cancer, one that you'd had for a long, long time. And you could get sympathetic support and help, or you may want to help others who are less fortunate, and that would certainly bring out the best in you. And so I think this can be a time when you can shine. As long as you're not trying to force your ideas on anyone else, you should do just great. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time 
when I think you have to be a little bit more cautious. And the reason why is that planets are building up in the fixed signs and yours is a fixed sign. And so what you have is the sun and Mercury in Taurus squaring your sun sign and the solar eclipse next week will also square your sun sign and there'll be more planets in Taurus by then. Also, you have Saturn in Scorpio squaring your sun sign, which means there can be reduced financial resources or else a little higher debts or higher bills right now. And it looks like that's going to stay that way, although you could get some help behind the scenes or some sympathetic um, support with that as well right now, Leo. The thing that is in your favor, very much so, is the fact that Uranus in Aries, which is beleaguered right now, it is trining your sun. And there is the possibility as the pressure is building, if somebody overreacts or rebels, that an opening could come up for you right out of the blue. And you should embrace that, Leo, because it would be exactly right for you. Or you too could meet somebody quite unusual usual that is very pleasant to know. In other words, a, a love interest, but perhaps more of a platonic love interest, but still extremely delightful. So you have that to look forward to. It's just you need to be cautious about money right now and try not to spend it. And also uh, try not to get in too much debt because it's going to be real hard to get out of it as the year goes on. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, Lucky you, the planets are building up in Earth signs now. And so that means that the Sun and Mercury, your own ruler, are trining your Sun, Virgo. And Pluto in Capricorn is also trining your Sun. And that simply means, remember, that somebody with a lot of experience who perhaps should have approved a rather simple idea that could have been your idea, Virgo, long ago may decide now since everything else has failed and it could be a time efficient very productive money making idea that is so simple people might have laughed at it but now they can perhaps be thinking about giving you a green light Virgo and that might start as early as when the solar eclipse occurs uh, next week so keep your eyes and ears open Virgo because I think you're going to be included in some sort of profitable venture and you would uh, uh, certainly, uh, you should be thinking about how to negotiate the best salary for that right now because I think you're going to get some good offer, Virgo, and I hope you respond and say yes to that because it'll make a big difference to you financially down the road particularly. Okay, what does it mean to a li Libra? Well, Libra, this is simply a time with Mars in your sign that you are going to have to be very, very careful not to explode. On the other hand, you shouldn't back down from anything, Libra, because I think you've got the law on your side. Remember that Mars is retrograde, meaning that upon further examination or review of something, you could be really right about something. And people are going to have to understand that, you know, the rules just have to be followed. And you know that. But remember I said the show is entitled Disconnected, and it's you that could be feeling very disconnected from someone that you really care about. And this could be a, a friend, it could be a family member, it could be somebody that you knew in a different location. So maybe you're feeling disconnected from the good old days. Well, why don't you try to get back to them, Libra? Because I think there is something that could involve a partnership or a contract that is intolerable to you and that you you have decided to make some sort of a breakup or a change. You could be moving and that would be all right with you. And if someone else wants to take off, that would be all right too, because I think what you're really looking for is peace and you've had enough stress, Libra. But I don't want you to overreact. Remember, we still all have to be able to afford our dreams and that is what you need to concentrate on first. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is simply a time when you too have to be careful because Saturn is retrograding your sign. It's being beautifully aspected because it's being trined by Jupiter in Cancer and by three planets in Pisces, which are Neptune, the Moon, and Venus. So you're very popular behind the scenes, Scorpio. And you may be feeling disconnected from <clears throat> the way you would like to see the world running. In other words, you may have been raised with certain ideals and values that you do not see in evidence too much right now because too many people are sort of coming at each other and being vindictive and revengeful. And that isn't really the way you think the world should be. The world should be a little bit more 
either well-mannered or disciplined. Discipline is what is ruled by your sign. Also, there is such a thing as justice. And this may be a time when even if you're very tired, you are probably thinking of justice right now, Scorpio. And you may be deciding that it, it's something that you've got to afford. In other words, if you have lived a life that where you sort of deserve uh, to live in peace now, maybe you're thinking of moving. Maybe you're thinking of providing well for other people, particularly your family, since your sign rules inheritance. So all of these things are very well favored. You could also be thinking quite charitably of those in need, because remember I said the victim wins now, but just make sure it's a victim who is deserving of your charity as well, Scorpio. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, this is simply a time when I think that, you know, other people are getting the sympathy. And so I think you might be a little disappointed right now and feel disconnected from a goal or a dream. Something that you thought was going to happen, I don't think is Sagittarius. And the reason why is those three planets in Pisces, the Moon, Venus, and Neptune in Pisces which indicate charity for the less deserving are all squaring your sun, which means I think somebody else who may not even be a real victim, maybe they're just pretending to be a victim, but I think that they are going to get the attention right now and perhaps some sort of uplift, uh, either in help that they may be getting or in some sort of promotion, something that you thought you'd get instead. So you might be disappointed with that, Sagittarius, but on the other hand, Uranus in Aries is trining your sun, and that simply means right out of the blue, there could be some wonderful opportunity for you to travel or to do something new. It may not last, but it could be quite satisfying for you. So I hope you keep your eyes and ears open, Sagittarius. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, I think that things are starting to look up. Not completely, though, because you could be feeling disconnected. And that is because you, uh, Mars is squaring your sun, which means you could be feeling that there isn't enough money around. Either someone isn't paying you enough, or you're not earning enough, or there aren't the right benefits, or there can be a financial situation that is not making you happy right now, Capricorn. And so you can be deciding to maybe make a change. And you're right on schedule, Capricorn, because the Sun and Mercury in Taurus are trining your Sun where you have Pluto. And I think you just need to talk somebody into making a decision that involves a simple idea that really could be quite profitable. If you can do that, then you should stick around and get paid for something like that. But if no one is listening, which they may not be right now, then you are going to need to decide if you want to go out and do something on your own. You might have to curtail your own budget, but you probably could be successful at some financial investment or venture. And that is because that solar eclipse next week does try in your sun. So don't give up on anything right now, Capricorn, and try to be as tactful as you can. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a time when I think, just like Leo, that you have to be very careful because yours is a fixed sign. And that simply means that the sun and Mercury in Taurus are squaring your sun, which means somebody else has great money-making ideas right now, but they may not be including you in them, or they may not want to invest in you, or there can be an investment that isn't worth what you thought it was, and that could be a little bit disappointing. So you could be sort of disconnected from your dreams or your plans regarding that. Or it can simply be that costs are very high or taxes are high right now, since Saturn in Scorpio is also squaring your sun. So these are the two financial signs, and they are in harsh aspect to your sun sign, and there are planets in them, and next week there will be even more. So you might want to consider selling something in order to sort of uh, clear up some bills or some debts or pay off some loans, Aquarius. Or if there is something that is rather expensive that you now realize you cannot afford anymore, that is something that you should sell as well. Because I don't think that you're under necessarily good financial aspects right now, Aquarius. Either something's too costly for you and you have to give it up or something that you want is just too expensive and you need to save more money for that or get out of debt. And so that is where you need to, you don't need to do too many things right now, Aquarius. You just need to concentrate on sort of clearing up some financial problems and letting something go 
and try to disconnect because if you can't afford it, you'd just be digging a hole, a financial hole for yourself, and that would not be a good idea. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, you can certainly be full of love and good cheer because you have so many good planets in your sun sign. Venus is there, and so are the Moon and Neptune. In fact, they're exactly conjunct, so you certainly do have your mind on a dream, don't you, Pisces? And it can involve a home or a real estate or a family matter because, because um, it simply means that um, I'm sorry, we have a little overhead noise that we'll just have to um, endure for a moment. Uh, we're shooting in a studio that is not soundproof, so I'm sorry about that. So what I uh, hope that you will do, Pisces, oh, good, that's gone. I hope that instead you will go ahead and try to save a little bit more money and not get in debt, but still follow your dream. That's what's important. So I hope that you uh, follow through on things right now. And just remember, uh, your good heart and your good feelings for others are going to be very appreciated by people. So you are very popular right now. Congratulations. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you will uh, look at our website, starborninstitute.org, and if you subscribe on it, you can see the show anytime you want. Bye.